This is Shane Gibson. I'm here at Ryan Holmes. Ryan's the CEO of Invoke Media, and they're the creators and developers of Hootsuite, which is a really a Twitter application, a third-party Twitter application. And maybe what we're going to start off with is telling a little bit more about uh, Hootsuite and what made you guys want to create this application. Sure. Well, uh, Hootsuite is a tool that we built out of our company, Invoke, and uh, Invoke does a lot of work in social media. We uh, have a, a video contesting platform, it's called Meme Labs. Great. And uh, with our work with Meme Labs, we were putting up contests for various brands, uh, Wells Fargo, Gap, Transworld, uh, kind of large brands. And in putting these contests together online, we realized that we needed to also help drive traffic, awareness, engagement with uh, people um, online. And um, so we do that through various social media, through Facebook, Twitter. And, and in doing that work, we realized that there wasn't really a good tool for managing multiple Twitter accounts uh, and, and that worked with team workflow. So uh, you know, we, we decided to build Hootsuite out and uh, Hootsuite was our, our solution to that. So we, we do things like allow multiple editors on a single account, allow multiple accounts, single sign-on to multiple account access. Uh, you can do tweet scheduling and uh, we have really strong analytics behind uh, the tweets to see how effective your, your, the messages you're sending out are. Great. So when we look at that, what makes or what, how has Hootsuite helped companies and some of the organizations you work with be better at monetizing social media or at least be more effective at utilizing it? Right. Well, um, I, I guess two of, the, two of the brands that are using Hootsuite that come to mind when you, when you talk about monetization, uh, one is Dell, um, Dell Outlet. They um, are kind of the, you know, the poster child right now for monetizing on Twitter. Uh, last quarter, so Q1, they uh, drove $3 million in, in sales through Twitter. Uh, right. and, and Q4, the year before, they did $1 million. So, I mean, a good, good trend, good direction. That's with a really small team. Um, uh, so I, I think that shows you know there's definite value and, and there's ways that people can can monetize through it. Uh, one of the things that our tool lets people do is is see click through traffic. Uh, you can do things like do A B different time of day, different copy, and see the effectiveness of uh, of the tweets that you're sending out. So you're looking at it from a traditional marketing back perspective that A B testing, looking at you know is the guy with the blonde hair or the brown hair going to work better on this ad? This is kind of like does this tweet work better at this time or this time? Right. Does this headline work better than this one or this one? And you can tell even the geography they click from. Yeah, you can you can yeah. tell all of those things, and, and very valuable uh, to to see how that works. What's more effective? Um, time of day, geography. Um, you know, we can even drill into types of computers people are coming in on. So Great. so that's that's super valuable. Um, and then and then from you know other ways that people are are monetizing or or. You know, gaining value from from our application. Uh, you know, other people use it as a support tool, a monitoring tool. So finding out what people are saying about your brand uh, out in the Twitter sphere. Uh, so real time monitoring of keywords around your brand, your competitors' brand. Um, Zappos is using a Zappos um, support, and they're using it for uh, their, their support team. So they're able to have multiple people on our system and uh, responding to various uh, issues that people have or also uh, converting people from brands and other, you know, other competitors. So that's a pretty valuable thing too, to be able to help people out and, and effect, effectively direct them to your offering. Great, now what made you decide, like I, I'm a Hootsuite user, I was using it before I kind of got to know you, yeah. uh, the first version and now I've had a chance to look at the Hootsuite 2.0, mm -hmm. which has been fantastic, uh, it's been a little addictive, to be right. honest, uh, I was always a browser guy, I didn't like the third party desktop apps, right. um, but this one's actually got me in it, right. um, but what made you choose a browser based Twitter, a third party Twitter tool mm -hmm. versus a desktop one? Sure. Well, they, there's a lot of good reasons for a browser-based application, and uh, I think some of the main ones that you know we're looking at pro corporate users um, in, in you know Fortune 500 organizations. There's always a, a big issue with IT support, mm -hmm. getting desktop apps installed, and all of the support that goes along with that. Um, in in building a web-based application, anybody can access it at any time from their browser. There's no need for a support department to get involved. Um, also, the desktop applications, a lot of them store your data locally. Yeah. So that means that your a lot of your data will only be accessible from that computer. So if you want to go home and tweet or you want to go from a third-party location, you're not going to be able to do it. 
Um, with our application, all you need is a browser to log in anytime, anywhere. So, and so an older it. computer too could be kind of like busting at the seams from a lot of these third-party desktop apps as well, right? Yeah, it's absolutely, a, a it's, it's, it's no resource, yeah, no resource drain on the computer. You can use yeah. it with older computers; it's going to function just as well as a newer computer. Um, yeah, and, and there are a lot of complaints with uh, some of the Air applications that they, uh, you know, memory hog, they crash a lot, and uh, you need to have a real turbocharged computer to work on it. Great. Yeah. So we had a little discussion earlier before the camera started um, about where you see sort of the, the future of Twitter and the future of microblogging, mm -hmm. and I think this is a really kind of interesting topic because as we're using it, the question is, is you know, Twitter or just social media in general, is it a trend? Is it a fad? Uh, you know, you obviously invested in it by building this this application. Yeah. So I'm assuming you don't see it that way. Where do you see this all kind of playing out as far as corporately as, right. a, as a monetizable medium? Well, I think uh, there, there's a, a lot of interesting direction right now in, in Twitter. There's probably a, a, 11 startups that are working around real-time search. Um, Twitter is is has a lion's share of that market right now um, and, and a lot of that is due to the fact that there's such they have such a big content creation side so there's kind of two sides to Twitter there's the the search and then the information retrieval uh, sorry there's the content creation and then the information retrieval via search yeah. and um, they have a lot of people creating content millions of tweets going on all the time and that that the value that I think a lot of uh, organizations are going to have is learning about what people are saying in the real time and that's where there's a, a lot of buzz uh, a lot of people think that's going to be where they're monetizing and I think uh, it's, it's probably a pretty good uh, guess fantastic yeah. well great well thanks for taking the time and invite me down right. and uh, giving me a tour of sort of the the insides of the Hootsuite and where it's going and uh, well I'm a power user now so okay. thank well, you, you have no more? <laughs> sure.